Hey, my ass is back here with you, and we're looking at this time looking at the graphing tab or the graphing page on the TI Inspire CX. So you can get to the graphing tab either by using the sketch pad or like I said, I like to create documents. So I'm going to create this document here. I'm going to add graphs. So there we go. And we're going to use it. We're going to use this a lot, guys, in terms of a, for AP calculus, use it for pre calculus, for all kinds of classes. But I just want to go over a few things that you can do with the graphing calculator portion. So here is a F1x. This is our first function. And in general, the functions are going to be rectangular in format and explicit. So you can only put it in terms, it's y in terms of x. So if I wanted x squared, which is just a simple parabola, and I hit enter, I've got my parabola. Now, if I grab the screen, now to grab the screen, you, you just use your little, you know, um, touchpad, and you hold it down until, and then it'll let you see it. You go grabber, you can move your screen around so you can see it here. If you click on the axes and you hold it down till I grab it, all right, it's gonna. If you hold down it's going to grab it and you can move and it'll zoom in and out all right so you can zoom in and out although I prefer not to use not to zoom like that I actually prefer to use the menu and then window zoom and use either zoom in or out zoom standard is great that gives you a 10 by 10 window so 10 on that axis for X and Y um, data is something you would use if you put in data into a spreadsheet Zoom fit usually is if you can't really see what's going on, it'll fit it to it. Um, zoom trig is great if you're using a trig function or you're using polar coordinates or or some uh, something that's interesting that you have a trig function to deal with. I would use zoom trig. And then zoom in and out, obviously zoom in and out. My favorite is zoom box. Zoom box lets you do a um, just like, let's say I just want a certain part of it. So I do zoom box. Watch this here. I pick my first corner and then I just drag it out. It does a little box and it's basically, let me look at that window, zoom in in that window. So there we go. Okay, so there is, um, you know, or I can customize my window settings, right? X min, X max is on my X and Y, or I'm sorry, my X min and my X max, duh. So you can customize your window settings. I like to use right now, I'm just gonna use standard so I'm gonna use a standard window. Okay, so now let's say I want to get back to my function. I wanna change that function. I don't like x squared. So I can do one of two things. I can either go to this and I can double click on it and it'll take me back to my function uh, table here. Now, if I went down, it'll take me to F2. So let's say I want two functions in here. I want now, I want the line x plus one. So now I have the line x plus one and look at this in, in this version, it's nice, it comes out red. So now you have two different functions. Now you can see the intersection of those two functions. You can see the area between those two functions. Um, if I wanted to zoom in to adjust that, I love using zoom box here, right? Zoom box, I just, I just wanna see the part that shows both of them together. So I'll do that, zoom in on that. Okay, so it's it's nice and neat that you get some color here. All right, so I'm going to zoom out here. We'll talk about some other features that you can do on this calculator. So we have we have the, this is basically you know the basically what we're going to be doing with this calculator um, with the graphing section. So I don't really have much more to say. If you want it, you oh there was another thing here. We could either double click on that right. That was one way of doing it, or the other way is hit menu, graph entry. And then function will take me back to, oh, this time it's taking me to F3. All right, so up and down will get me to any of the functions. Remember that it remembers the functions, right? So if you go into a calculator menu or, or if you go to a calculator screen or you go to a, a, a spreadsheet or anything and you type in F1, it's going to remember that you defined F1 as X squared in your graphing tab. So let's say that uh, we don't want to use a function notation. We want something other than this. We want some other type of graph. So if you hit menu, graph ed edit entry, we've got all these different types of graphs that we could possibly use. We could do an equation that's not a, uh, a, a it's a, um, we call it an implicitly defined 
function. So, you know, we have terms that maybe in a standard form of a line or y equals mx plus b, or this can actually even draw a vertical line. Or let's say we want to draw a parabola. It gives us in the different types of forms of a parabola. Or maybe we're dealing with a conic section in a general form, or we want to see an ellipse. It'll put the ellipse in this general form. It's kind of neat in that way. We also could do parametric equations. Now, those of you in BC calculus, we will be using parametric equations. We can do polar equations. And again, in BC calculus, we'll be doing polar equations. We won't be using scatter plots or sequences, um, so we don't really need those in this class in, in, in calculus. But, I mean, you could use them for those. So primarily, you're going to use function. That's the one we're going to use most often. And again, we could put as many functions as we want. Let's say we want to put a logarithmic function in here. So I'll hit control, um, control E to the X will give me LN, LN of X plus two. All right, uh, I know for, for the hex of it, we'll go and put a fraction in here just so we can see, you know, X plus three over X, you know, and see that we get something like that. So. We can do anything, any type of function that we can get in here, we can throw it in here. But the key things for you to remember is how to get back to the function, either double click on that or use menu, graph, edit, entry, and function to get back up here, okay? And I'm gonna go over in some other videos some other really important functions that you're gonna wanna use in the graphing part of the graphing calculator, okay? so. Uh, that was just a basic how to what do we do with the graphic the graph portion and uh, I'll get to some other videos in a bit. All right guys. So hopefully that helps you out. Bye